I'm back for another video. As you all can see by the title, today's video, we're going to be discussing all things fragrance. I'm super, super excited. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my spring and summer recommendations. So things I've pulled out of my collection that I'm definitely going to be rocking all spring and summer long. Some are first time around tries because I got them maybe last year and just wasn't able to wear them. Um, I picked up a new item that I'm going to share with you guys. So we're going to, whoops, it's backwards, girl. I already been sipping on the wine. Okay, as y'all can see by the title, it's a sip and sniff. So I do have a little wine. Um, and we're gonna unbox this item. Um, I also got another little item to unbox for you guys as well. And that is something you guys can get for free. So I am gonna tell you all about that. Again, I'm gonna share my spring and summer recommendations. I have pulled out my fragrance card. So we're gonna sip, we're gonna sniff. I've got a fragrance hack for you guys that I learned from another YouTuber. So I will be sure to leave her information and leave it all linked below for you guys. But we're gonna stop rambling. Um, I'm gonna sip on my wine. You're gonna sip on your coffee, your tea, uh, your juice drink, whatever you do. And we're gonna jump right into the video. All right, y'all, so it is later in the evening, which is why I'm in my robe. These are the best time to film these little sip and sniffs. The kids are down, I can pour my wine, we can chill, I can luxuriate, get in my robe. I have not unwinded for the day or unwound, whatever the word is, girl. Um, I have not done that for the day, so I do still have on my makeup, so I figured while I was still halfway done up, um, I film. So I'm gonna share with you guys first the fragrance that I picked up. It is from Christian Dior, and this is from their La Collection Privé line. So this is like, you can't just go in a department store and get this. This is supposed to be like their exclusive scents. Now, over the last two years, I have tried some of everybody's niche fragrance or exclusive fragrance via sample just to see what I like because I'm a designer fragrance girl. I like pulling up to a Macy's, picking out a couple of things and walking out the store happy. Um, a lot of these niche fragrances for me, I've realized that it's it's really not my lane, y'all. I am more of a, um, if you want to call it basic, call it basic. All the oods and the oods and the odds, that's too much for me. Um, and if I tell y'all what it smells like to me, I feel like I would be offensive, so I'm not even going to go there. But a lot of the ouds and stuff just are not for me. Um, I was having a hard time. I haven't smelt the MFK, is it MFK? Baccarat Rouge 540. Haven't smelt that yet. Um, but I did try the Delina fragrance in the pink bottle. It was okay. It didn't, it didn't wow me. It was like, mm, hey girl. Um, what are some of the other ones? Byredo, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. They smell so nice, like, like in the beginning. And then after that, I'm like, well, where'd it go? You know? And for that amount of money, I'm gonna need the, I'm gonna need everybody to smell me, you know? <laughs> so that didn't work for me. What else did I try that I did not like? Oh, I went in Louis Vuitton. There's only one that appeals to me. It's a chop a trop reeves or something like that it's a heavy rose and like chocolate scent love that everything else either smell uber basic or just wasn't my style my zhuzh so it's been really hard for me to kind of break into this bracket of like i'm about to spend three and four hundred dollars on scents because the ones i've smelled i just don't like but i came across dior and Dior is giving it to the girls, baby, okay? Let me tell you why. Not only is Dior coming in at a great price point because they are in the two, three, closer, you know, range, but you can get those same fragrances for $125 if you just wanna kinda try it out. And that's what I wanted to do. So I did pick up a fragrance. We're gonna unbox it. Girl, I've just been chatting away. Uh, whoa. It comes with this little... Christian Dior like a uh, sticker here to kind of keep this string in place but yeah that's my background on these expensive fragrances that have come out I like to try new things I love fragrance but I'm just not here to spend all my money on stuff that just doesn't smell like me so that's been a problem um here we go this is 
what it looks like. And I did use a coupon code with this as well. So I got a free item. This is just a little note that I wrote to myself. It says, love you, cause I do love me. Um, and then I use the coupon code. I'll share it with you guys at the bottom or in the description. And so I was able to get this beautiful Christian Dior case to put makeup, anything you want in. It's so pretty. It's embossed with the Christian Dior logo and it's like this felt material. And in the inside, it just has the Christian Dior logo all in this like uh, wipeable material. So love it. I thought that was so, so nice. And then the zipper says Dior. What I love about this little gift is that don't none of this say beauté. You know how they do. You get the little makeup bag, you like, well, I'm finna be cute. And everything say beauté, beauté. Like, I hate that. So it was nice that they just kind of left the logo and nothing screams perfume bag, you know? Because I actually like to use this kind of stuff. So that's that. Then in the inside, girl, I'm not gonna lie, they hooked me up with all the goods. So I got some samples in this Christian Dior drawstring bag that says Christian Dior Paris on both sides. And it came with two fragrance samples from their Privé line and then a Rouge Dior satin lipstick in their traditional 999 Rouge Red. Um... This was the first freebie because if you made the pearl level, which is just signing up for their loyalty program, then they're going to send you this free miniature lipstick. Didn't know. Again, I literally found all this at the checkout. But that's what it looks like. Beautiful red. It's going to be nice against my skin tone. It's looking a little bright, but it's it's really not that bright. Um, I've had this shade in the past before, so I know it looks good on me. So it's nice to have another red in my collection because I will be honest, unless it's like a deep dark red, I've gotten rid of them over the years. And then I got two fragrance samples, like I said, from their Privé line, the Oud Rosewood and the Amber Nui. Now the Amber Nui, love. This Oud Rosewood, no ma'am, no sir. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Smell like somebody gas station and I don't like it. I didn't like it. I wasn't a fan, one for me. So uh, I'm gonna give this to maybe my mama, maybe she'll like it or try it, but I didn't like that. But this Amber Nui, oh my goodness, girl, this is, this is the bomb. This is really, really good for um, fall and winter. We're gonna put it on this little, my sales associate, from, uh, from Macy's gave me all these Chanel cards and I had been looking for them for these videos. Oh, sis, this smells so damn good. Baby, this is like ambery, powdery. Woo-wee, this will smell good on your man. This will smell good on you. This is very unisex, but girl, as soon as I sprayed this, I said, oh, I'm buying this. Now, it's not the season for it. It's very warm, very sandalwood, very bergamot. Oh, but it's got like a, you ever smell sandalwood and bergamot and all those things, but they smell synthetic? This, the, the, whoo wait, whatever they are doing, everything just smells heightened, like, times 10. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, this is so good. This is so good. This is so good. This went on my uh, fall winter list instantly. It's Amber Nui. Girl, I fell in love. We ain't gonna sit on this, but this is good. I got a sniff for that. Mm -hmm. It smells so good. So I love that. And then they sent me a sample of the you see if the lighting will pull up the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Uh, eh, I could do with or without these little when they do them like this, only because I'm probably gonna end up putting it in like a 
travel out or something so I can actually use it. But these are cute. I sit them on my little vanity where all of my fragrances sit. I thought this was just adorable. They put a little pillow inside. It says Christian Dior. How sweet is that? I just thought that was cute. Girl, that Amber Nui. So good. Anyways, so then they sent the fragrance in this cute little dust bag. And the fragrance I picked up was the Gris Dior by Christian Dior Paris. And girl, it smells so good. I've already smelled it. Ooh, it smells so good. And see, this is what I like. I like the fact that I went into Christian Dior and I found a lot of fragrances that I liked, even though they're supposed to be different and unique. And, you know, they're using more luxurious, like, flowers and all this stuff. I like that, but I wanted I wanted that from Louis Vuitton and I didn't get that. Everything either smelled super basic or super stinky. Um, it just wasn't my thing, but whatever. Girl, but this right here, this is everything. So I stuck with the one point, I think this is a 1.34 fluid ounce or 1.4 ounce. Um, trying to get it so you guys can see it. But I love the way this smells, you guys. This is so good for spring and summer. It comes with a magnetic cap. You've got the Christian Dior at the top. Girl, I'm going to spray it on a fragrance card just so we can get the opening notes because I did spray it in the cap when I first got it. And girl, it's just doing all the things, okay? Love this. This is going to be so good for spring and summer with a sundress. Mm, yes, yeah, so we're gonna okay. This is a clean one. Woo! And the woo, it's a fine mist. It's like tss, love it. Girl, this is so good. Woo, this is so good. I can't even I'm gonna leave the fragrance notes across the screen because I can't even really. It's just different. This is unique, it's different. It's not um, overpowering or overdoing it. Ooh, it's so good though, y'all. Like it's, it's got like a little patchouli, a little bit of sandalwood. But I smell like peony or something that gives it that light refreshing scent. And something about it is almost nostalgic for me. And it's it's strong but soft. It's it's in 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 powdery. It's strong because it's gonna it's gonna do what it need to do, but it's not going to overpower anything. You can still wear this to an office if you had you know if you go in the office. But girl, I love I love this. I'm in love. I am in love. I'm so ready to add this to my spring and summer repertoire. I had to share it with you guys. Ooh, love that. So. Gris Dior, I'm gonna, I probably already let it go by, but we're definitely going to make sure you know all the notes in this, sis, because I don't have them all on the top of my head, but I love this so much already, um, and I'm just grateful that Dior allows you to try a smaller size, so if you want to get the bigger one, you can, but you can at least try it without, like, blowing the bank, you know what I'm saying? So, love, love, love. Now, when I ordered that, I got an email maybe like a day or so later that that I made the silver level. So apparently Dior has a loyalty program. If you sign up, they send you with your second order a little miniature, which was the lipstick. And if you spend, I'll find out and I'll leave it across here, a certain amount, you get a little silver welcome gift. So... I received this welcome gift from Dior, and I think it's amazing. Uh, comes like packaged like this. You get another one of those miniature lipsticks. Same as this one, same color and everything. Okay. You get a miniature of their Rouge 999 nail polish. And then, girl they send you a luggage tag. How nice is this? A Dior luggage tag for your luggage. 
house um name. and you can put your name address phone number all of that there and attach it to your luggage attach it to a handbag anything you want to be fancy and cute i just thought that was a nice little added touch they have other little gifts that you get as you go up in levels for the amount that you're spending but i just think that's a nice touch I don't know about y'all, but Dior has got me hooked and I'm going to be ordering from them more because I'm like, y'all giving out the goods and I want some more goods. So this was nice. All of the information will be left below for you guys. If you're interested, signing up, loyalty program, whatever you want to do, I'm going to leave all the info for that linked below. Okay, y'all. So we're going to jump into my fragrance recommendations. The fragrances I'll be pulling out this spring and summer. So let's start with some Burberry. I'm definitely going to be pulling out my Burberry weekend. If you have never smelled this, girl, you've got to. It's amazing. If you want to smell like you are yachting, this is the scent. This is so nautical. It's preppy but dainty in my opinion. Definitely smells like the sunshine and outdoors and just fun. And it has a fruity element. But as soon as I smell this, I just think of sunshine. I honestly do. So this is Burberry weekend and I'm definitely pulling this out. Y'all know I gotta pull out my Valentino Volce V. Got to, got to, got to. She's that girl. I love this scent. I've talked about this a thousand times, so I'm not gonna go all into detail. But she's like one of my favorite scents. I just love her. She makes me happy. This is a great everyday scent. I wore this all throughout the fall and winter as well and it was perfect. I'm also going to be pulling out Burberry Her. This is like such a girl's girl's scent. It's so girly. Smells like raspberry. It's just amazing. I love this scent. I'm pulling it out. I, I have it. to have it. We're also going to be pulling out our Chanel Eau Tendre. A lot of you all have asked me about this fragrance over the years. Do I still like it? Do I recommend it? As you can see, yes, I have it in a five ounce. I'm pulling it out this spring and summer. This is the ultimate sundress season scent, in my opinion. It's luxurious, but it's sweet, but it's floral, but it's not too much. It can definitely take you from day to night. It's also very signature scent worthy, so I'm pulling it out for also sure. Also going to be pulling out Dior, and this is J'adore by Dior. Love this scent. It's so spring and summer. Now, this one does not last too terribly long on me, but I got a tip and a trick I'm going to share with you guys. Then I'm going to be pulling out some oldie but goodies. I have loved this forever. If you are huge in the 90 cents, you've got to try Alfred Song. He has some amazing fragrances that are always really inexpensive, but girl, give you a very high end feel. These are always under $20 for me. The first one is Alfred Song Forever. This is a beautiful scent. It reminds you of the 90s. It gives you nostalgia, but I promise you when you wear this, people are going to be like, oh, what you got on? I like that. It's so different. The fact that it's slightly dated is what makes it different and unique. It's powdery. It's feminine. It's floral. It's good. Um, definitely a, a room commander in my opinion so alfred song forever is under 20 dollars. if you're looking for a very inexpensive scent this is the way to go you guys have heard me talk about this one over the years so much this is my signature scent i wear this whenever i don't know what to wear i have gone through probably 50 bottles of this at this point and it's alfred song she this is a very aquatic watery scent but it's um it's very fluid it's just very tranquil um aromatic it lasts on the skin a really long time and to me can take you from season to season it's super aquatic and nautical so it doesn't to me have like a you gotta wear it in a particular season it definitely goes year round for me Another one that's under 20 bucks, but girl, couldn't nobody tell you this fragrance wasn't a hundred plus dollars. Just saying. Another one by Alfred Sung that I love is Jewel. Now, I have not worn this too much, but it's a goodie. OMG. Like, this is unique, but again, it gives me that. It's, these were all made in the 90s, these Alfred Sung sets, so they have that. They have that like, uh, will take you back, will take your mind back and make you think, 
of just something you did in that in that time frame um this is good let me put this on a fragrance card because i'm not oh my god girl mm. this is yummy it's powdery but it's super floral i don't know what that what that note is if i can find it i'm gonna link it across but it just gives it a uniqueness that I cannot describe. But if you're looking for a very unique everyday scent that's not going to do too much. Oh, I love it. I love this. I love this. You have to get this. I'm going to try to leave everything linked for you guys. I don't know what that note is, but it. I love it. And this is just so spring and summer to me. I really like of it. Of course, I'm going to be pulling out my Lancome. This is the um, Idol, I believe. Very, very good for spring and summer. This is like a, a, you know, you're getting suited and booted for spring and summer. You're doing something for the spring and summer. A lot of these are more casual, but this is definitely like, you know, I'm getting super dressed, super fancy in the spring and summertime, and I need something to wear that's bossy. Love this. Y'all hear my kids screaming, so I'm trying to wind it on down. And then another one I'm going to pull out is the Vetiver Pomple Mousse. This is the Jo Malone and Zara collaboration. I didn't get a chance to wear this a lot last year. I wore it some, but not too terribly much. This is a great citrusy scent. Smells like grapefruit. Um, Very good if you just need like a basic everyday something to wear. And then last but not least, y'all, I'm going to share with you guys this fragrance hack. I will leave the YouTuber's name below who I found whose video I found this in but it works. This is the Vaseline uh, Healing Jelly All Over Body Balm Jelly Stick. And all I have been doing is what sis told us to do, okay? I've been putting it like on my like pulse points and then spraying my fragrance there. So like the Jador does not last too much on me. But when I do that, when I put that Vaseline stick and then spray the fragrance, don't tap it. Just spray it on top. I notice that the fragrance is there all day for me. Whereas it used to not be when this particular one when I would just spray it on me just normal. So this has worked. I have been using it a lot here lately. I bought it about two weeks ago. And every time I've had to wear fragrance, I've used it. And I noticed that it not only does it project but it lasts so much longer. So if you were in a Target, a Walmart, I got mine out of uh, Target. Target, Walmart, Kroger has them. If you can get this Vaseline jelly all over body stick, it's definitely gonna be worth the little five or six, it was $5 um, to add to your little fragrance repertoire to keep everything going because this helps everything last. So love it. All right, y'all, that's everything. If you are an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, sis, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I will see you guys in my next video. This was fun. Bye, y'all.